Hi, welcome back to Live Lean TV. Today we're gonna do a post-pregnancy or postpartum ab repair workout. So this will be great for you if you've been through pregnancy, even if you had diastasis recti tear when your ab muscles separate, or if you've had abdominal surgery like a C-section, but make sure that you get the approval from your doctor to start doing core work again before you do this type of workout. But if it's been six months or a year or even several years, you can still tighten them up again and see a lot of repair happening with this type of gentle core workout. So I'm gonna lead you through this 20 minute workout. We'll do one exercise per minute, working 45 seconds, resting 15, and it'll all be follow along with me. I have two babies myself, so I know exactly what it feels like to have your ab muscles way stretched out and expanded, and then want to bring them in tight again. So these are all the same moves that I used when I was in that early postpartum phase, and so I hope you'll love this workout. So get into your seated position, just like this. You can sit cross-legged or sit on a chair if you want to, or stretch your legs out long, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. And we're gonna start with corset breathing. So really just exhaling and tightening our abs, and then inhale and expand. 45 seconds on the clock, let's go. Exhale, imagine you have a corset on. Inhale, relax. Really focus on your breath and using your breath to get those muscles as tight as you can. Okay, just a little recovery break and then we're gonna into all fours position and we're gonna be doing tummy vacuums. So lifting our navel up to our spine in this all fours position. And so similar concept here, you're gonna inhale, relax, and then exhale, contract. So. Good. Make sure you're not just like hollowing out your belly, but you actually want to firm those belly muscles. So still in our all fours, we're going to do a knee to elbow crunch. So this way, one is going to look like this, knee to opposite elbow. So right knee up to left elbow, and then we're going to alternate sides. So crunch it up, exhale, and put it back down. Other side. Try to really Close that space between your knee and your elbow, but without moving your elbows. Keep those stationary and exhale with each crunch. Okay, good. So a little bit of rest and then we're gonna flip onto our back. So we're gonna do a lying corset breathing now, which is the same thing we did in a seated position, but this time you're on your back on the ground so you can actually like feel when your lower back touches the ground and it kind of helps get that really tight contraction. So as you inhale, let it kind of rock up and then exhale, push down against the ground and try to flatten out belly button down to the floor kind of feeling. And then expand and contract. You can sort of rock your pelvis to help get that expansion even larger and contraction even tighter.
Okay, good. A little bit of rest and then we're gonna go into heel drop. So again, lying on your back, you'll lift up your heels. So legs at a 90 degree bend and then we're just gonna drop one at a time. So really try to keep your corset tight throughout this exercise. So it, it remains closed the whole time. You kind of have this mental image of your belly closing in the middle and just keep it like that as you're moving one heel down and then back up. No expansion or contraction on the abs on this one. They stay contracted throughout the whole set. But keep breathing. You can inhale as you lower, exhale as you rise back up. Try to keep stress out of the shoulders. Okay, rest for 15 seconds and then we're gonna do a mini knee tuck. So like a little reverse crunch. So I do want you to sort of rock your hips like towards you like this. So, but just a mini one, like not too aggressive here, just a little bit in and hips lift off tiny bit and then put them back. And just really focus on that abdominal contraction, especially in the lower abs. And if that feels like too much, then just make it even smaller. It can be really like two inches forward and back, as long as you're focusing on the contractions here. Don't think about moving the legs, but think about contracting the abs to move the legs. Neck and shoulders relaxed. Okay, lower your heels back down. We're gonna do the side knee drops. So you're like thinking of zipping into the midline. You're gonna drop one and then zip it back together and really close those knees tight. That's gonna help tighten your abdominals. So drop left knee out to the side, zip it back up, right knee and zip. Really think about that pressing to the midline. That's the main action here that you want to tighten up your core. Make sure that this stationary leg stays where it is and just let one of them fall and then come back to the middle. Keep working. Okay, good. So now we have the bridge pelvic tilt. So Make sure that your heels are close to your bum and we're gonna lift up into a bridge position and work on tilting the pelvis to tighten those lower abs, the entire abs. But stretch the abs long here with your pelvis dropping and then exhale and close that gap and make a nice straight line from hips to ribs. Think long and then short. Okay, rest for 15 seconds. We're gonna get up into the bridge again, this time to do Kegels, which is a pelvic floor exercise where you tighten up your internal muscles. So it's probably not gonna look like much from your point of view, but I'm hoping that you'll feel it and you don't have to see it to know it's happening. So we're just holding this bridge and then tighten up your pelvic floor and then release. It's kind of like the feeling when you have to go pee, but you wanna hold it. So don't like tighten it up and then relax and try to do this with your inhales and exhales. So exhale tight, inhale, release. Hold the bridge the whole time. Okay. 
Okay, relax. So our last one is gonna be a supported leg extension. Now this is probably the most advanced one. So I'm gonna show you how to modify it if you need to. But we wanna bring both knees into the chest. You're gonna hold on to one knee as you reach the leg out and then bring it back in and then switch sides. So if you do wanna make this harder, you can scoop down lower, like all the way to the floor, like that. If that feels like too much, then I want you to just lift straight up and bring it back. But I like somewhere in the middle, like 45 degrees. I feel like is a good intermediate level. So just choose the level that feels right for you. More challenge, go lower. And less challenge, go higher. Okay, good, so we made it through the first round. Just grab water real quick and then we'll start from the top with the seated corset breathing. And we're gonna do all 10 exercises, just one more round to complete the workout. Okay, here we go. Okay, onto the all fours tummy vacuum. Flip on over, get in your position. And go tight. Okay, all fours, knee to elbow is next. So stay down. And cross. Okay, good. So onto the lying corset breathing. We're gonna flip around and lie down on our back. And work on pressing that spine down to the ground with each exhale. Here we go.
Okay, so stay down on your back and we're gonna do the heel drops next. Lift up into that 90 degree position and then make sure you tighten your abs before you begin and just keep the abs tight the whole time. So it's like a static contraction and just your lower body's moving. This is a much better option for you at this phase when you're abs are needing repair rather than doing plank exercises. I'd rather have you do isolated contractions like this. So hold tight, just like if, as if you were doing a plank, the same way you wouldn't want to get saggy in the middle. Don't let this sag in the middle. Keep it tight. relax and stay down on your back for the mini knee tucks so kind of like a reverse crunch I'm gonna tuck those knees knees towards the chest but just a small movement okay tuck them in and back out remember that little mini hip lift Relax your neck and shoulders. If you notice any tension going on up there, just relax. Focus the tension where you want it down here. Okay, put your legs down. And we're gonna be doing the side knee drops next. So zip up the middle, feet all the way together, and we'll alternate sides. Letting one knee drop to the side and bring it back in tight. Here you go. Zip it up. Okay, good. So we have the bridge pelvic tilt is next. So stay in this position, make sure that your heels are close to your butt before you start. And we'll lift up and then stretch and contract, okay? Here we go. Relax the pelvis and then lift. Focus on making this more of a core movement though than a lower body movement. So the strength should be coming from the belly, not from the legs. We're almost done, keep working. Give it that intensity and focus to really get a good workout and know that you're changing your abs. Okay, we're gonna scoot down just a little bit. We have the um, Kegels exercises next. So again, you're not gonna see much, but I hope that you're feeling it when you're doing this. So up in that bridge position and work on that pelvic floor, contract and release. And I don't want you to feel rushed to get as many reps as you can, but rather like as good of reps as you can. So do a solid rep and then release. Another solid rep and then release. So really focus on the quality and intensity of contractions rather than the amount or number of contractions. It's not a race. You wanna take your time and do it right and do it good. Bring that strength. Flex your pelvic floor and then release it. Hold that bridge. Okay. 
Okay, the last one is the leg extensions. So we're gonna be extending one out at a time while supporting the other knee. Okay, here we go. Extend and bring it back. All right, so that's it for the workout. You just completed your 20 minute ab repair session and you can do this up to three times per week depending on the phase of you know healing and repair that your abs are at right now. If you're feeling really, really sore in your abs tomorrow, then I would say give yourself at least two to three recovery days before you revisit it again. But you wanna do this workout at least two to three times per week to see the best results and the fastest results and really see your abs tighten up and firm up. But make sure that you're allowing at least one recovery day each time that you do it because that's how your abs are really going to develop strength is if you work them really well and then you let them recover the next day. So it's this process of work and recover. You can't just work them every single day in a row. Give your best effort during each session and don't do too many sessions, but do quality sessions. That's key. I'm so glad I could share this workout with you because these are the exact same moves that I used to actually tighten up my abs after having two different pregnancies and they really worked. They really are effective. So enjoy and I hope you love the results that you get from this. Make sure that you like this video because it really helps our channel out, helps other people find our videos and subscribe to the channel if you're not already so you don't miss any future uploads and I'll see you at the next workout and keep living lean.